So moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to look at how we can change the default orientation of a particular device. So here, as you can see, uh, this is a uh, emulator and here the device is in portrait mode, which is like a vertical mode. And uh, if I change this uh, to a landscape mode, then it will be the horizontal mode, right? Now you can do this uh, in your device, you know that. But if you want to look at what is your current orientation for your device, then here uh, we can go to the view details uh, in the device manager. And here, this is our device, as you can see. And if we go down here, then in the properties, you will see that uh, the initial orientation of this particular hardware is portrait, right? Now, in some cases uh, where you have got uh, application which should be opened uh, in the landscape mode, okay? So there could be a variety of reasons for that. The app is built by default on the landscape mode or you have to test any particular application which uh, is suited for the landscape mode. So in those kind of cases, you need to change the orientation. And to do that uh, from the APM, you have got certain commands through which you can change the orientation as per your requirements. So let's look at how we can do this through APM. So here uh, we'll continue to build uh, on the Android test. Okay, so we'll continue to create a new class here and we will call this change orientation. And then uh, let's copy the first test. Okay, so we'll copy this. And we will come back here. Okay, and then here uh, we will play around with the test method. Okay, so we don't need to change anything else here. So let's remove this now. So here, uh, before we go ahead and change our screen orientation, let's first check what is the current screen orientation through uh, the APM methods. So for this, uh, we will uh, have an object of screen orientation type, okay? And we'll call this current orientation. And we'll say driver dot get orientation. Okay, so that will give us the current orientation. Uh, we can go ahead and print it. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and run this and let's see what it returns. Okay, so as you can see, it is returning us uh, the portrait value. So that's our current orientation. So now uh, what we will do is we need to change the orientation to landscape, right? So uh, we'll say driver dot rotate. So there is a, a method called rotate. Now, as you can see, there are two methods, okay? So one is uh, for the device rotation and one is for the screen orientation. Now we are working on the screen orientation because we have got that particular value, right? So here, uh, what we'll say is screen orientation dot Okay, and you will see there are two values here. One is portrait and one is landscape. Since we are already on portrait, let's go ahead and change this to landscape, okay? And then uh, we can again go ahead and uh, get the current orientation and we can print it, but we know it will be changed to landscape, okay? So what we can do here is let's copy this, okay? And let's go ahead and now uh, run this and let's see uh, if we are able to change it to the landscape mode or not. So we will run this. You might see it very briefly in your device uh, when you're running it, it could be very fast, okay? So as you can see, the screen rotated for a little while before uh, we quit the particular driver, right? Now, if you want to see it more clearly, I can even go ahead and comment this out so that we don't close the driver and uh, it can show us the current orientation. So here we can see uh, both our portrait, 
but that is because uh, we have already assigned the value driver dot get rotation. So what I can do is let's put this outside of our class. Okay, so we'll put it here. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll say orientation. Okay, so this is the orientation here. And we will again uh, do a similar one before we print uh, the current orientation here. Uh, we'll get it two times, although this is not required, but just to give you an idea of um, how it will return the both the values, okay? So let's go ahead and run this again. Okay, so as you can see now, uh, this is the landscape mode. Uh, obviously the device has not rotated, but the screen has rotated because we are using the screen orientation rather than the device uh, rotation. You can also rotate the device if you want. For that, you have got another overloaded method which can be used. And uh, if you look at the console, then uh, we have got both the portrait and landscape. So first it was portrait and then once we rotated, uh, the screen orientation changed to landscape and then we printed the value at that time it was landscape okay so you can switch between um, both landscape and uh, portrait you just need to use uh, the particular method and the value which is associated with that particular method which is the screen orientation so that's all about the screen orientation how you can change your screen orientation for your device from portrait to landscape or from landscape to portrait. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.